Well, hello there, scholars. Today we're going to do a really fun project with a technique that we call tie-dye. Tie-dyeing means we're going to put really bright colors onto some material. And for today's lesson, we're going to create some beautiful tie-dyed flowers. And they're going to be sticking on a piece of paper. And you can see I've put them in this beautiful flower pot. Now, you're going to need some of the materials to do this. And don't worry if you don't have the right materials, you can still do it. We'll just find other ways. So this, when we put something, when a piece of art sticks out of the piece of paper, that is called bas relief. That means it is not flat. It's like a sculpture. A sculpture is something you can touch and it's three-dimensional. So we're learning how to do a bas-relief sculpture. The, the actual artwork is sticking out and that makes really for a fun project. Tie-dyeing was created way back a long time ago. It was very popular in the 60s because there were so many bright colors. People loved to paint their shirts. This was a method that they used. It was a hand painting technique and you could create really bright colors. It symbolized being free to use many colors that you wanted to. So we're gonna learn how to tie dye with coffee filters. So you're gonna need to get yourself some coffee filters. If you don't have coffee filters, you can use paper, it's okay. You are gonna need a lot of markers, so whatever colors are your favorite, get some markers. You're gonna use water from a spray bottle, or if you don't have a spray bottle, just get a little container of water and you'll just use your hands. It's very simple, very easy to do. You will also need construction paper. Uh, for this one, you will need construction paper just because uh, we want it to really last and not fall apart uh, as we work on this. And don't forget a glue stick. Scissors as well. Scissors will also come in handy. Glue stick and scissors. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get this done. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you what you need. You're gonna need one or two coffee filters, depending on how many flowers you wanna make. So I'm gonna just show you how to make one, but you can make as many as you want. You're going to need many colors markers, so you can grab all the colors you like to use. We're gonna need to have some water handy, a glue stick, scissors, and I would find and get yourself some color uh, construction paper. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your coffee filter and fold it in half, okay? And make sure you put it on top of another piece of paper because what's gonna happen is when we do our colors, they're gonna bleed through and stain any, if you do this on your mom's favorite tablecloth, you might ruin it. So make sure you've got something underneath because look what happens when I did my last one, look at all the color I got. So you wanna be careful, okay? So I'm gonna put my coffee filter here and then I'm gonna take my markers and make, I'm just gonna paint just lines. You don't have to do anything, but just put some lines together right next to each other. Put another line. Let's do some purple. The more colors you have, the better and more fun it's going to be. Let's add some green. Let's put some green on this side. So you can see that I'm just coloring around the outside of my coffee filter. And I like to add black. I think black's kind of fun, but not too much. Just kind of, I, I make black lines. Sometimes when you add too much black, it just covers up all the other colors. So let's, I'm gonna stop here, but do you see all these pretty colors I put on there? Now I'm gonna take my water, remember, put something underneath, and I'm gonna spray my colors, holding this down and spray it really good. And look what's happening. My colors are bleeding and mixing. Look at how pretty that is. Do you see that? They're kind of mixing all together. And 
I can keep adding water and make it mix more. Wow, that's pretty cool. And that's what the idea of tie-dyeing is, is that the colors all blend and mix together. So what you're going to do once you get this done, we have to let it dry. So we're going to let this dry for a long time, really, because otherwise it'll be really wet and we can't use it. So I'm going to put it aside and let it dry. And you see what I mean, how the paint goes through? So you want to make sure to have something to protect your, your table. Okay, while that is drying, I'm going to start making my little scene. I'm going to prepare the background of my paper, and I'm going to make a flower pot to put my flowers in. So this is a piece of construction paper, and I'm just going to make cut a really pretty wavy line for my top. And because most flower pots are kind of at an angle, I'm just going to cut this so it goes this way. And you know what? Save these little pieces because you're going to use them. And there's my flower pot, but it's a little big, so I'm going to just cut the bottom off a little bit more. Okay. And I want to add some decorations to my flower pot, so I'm just going to make some, some little lines. I just like to add all kinds of little fun decorations. Something that looks pretty. And you know what? Maybe I'll put some lines going down, too. Just to give it some texture and something pretty. Do you like my beautiful flower pot? And I'm going to glue it down. But you know what? Before I glue it down, let's add some swirly designs to my background. I like to use swirls just for fun. It gives my background some fun things. You don't have to do this, but it's always fun to try something new. If you just want to put lines on your background or color in your background, it's just fun to add something pretty. Hi, there you go. So I just added a few swirls. And then I'm going to go to the bottom of my page and glue my beautiful flower pot. Now, I, I don't want to glue it shut. I just want to glue the sides and the bottom. Put a lot of glue. Because we have to leave the top open because that's where the flowers are going to come in. So I'm just going to do this. That way I can put my flowers in here. It's like a little pocket, okay? And I like, I will add a little black line on the bottom to show that it's sitting on a table and maybe a little bit of a shadow, like it's like sitting on a table. Okay, once your flowers have dried, once your flowers have, com have completely dried, they're gonna look like this. And I'm just going to grab my coffee filter and squish it together. You see? My coffee filter with all my pretty colors and squish it, make it kind of cr crunchy. And that's the one I'm going to put inside my flower pot. Look at that. And I'll put a little glue and a little glue here because I want it to stay. What do you think? Isn't that so pretty? And now I've got my flower inside my flower pot. And you can fix it any way you like. And there you go. Now you can keep coloring. You can add some colors to the outside. Um, you know, add something fun. Whatever you want. You play with it and make yourself a really beautiful tie-dye flower.